Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Sam. I am a professional hairstylist, and today I'm gonna show you a really easy, quick way to get a salon quality blowout at home. By the way, if you're interested in the makeup that I'm wearing in this video, I just filmed a tutorial on this exact look. It's going to be the next video that I upload, so make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already, because I know a lot of you guys watching are not subscribed. So just do it. Hit that little button down below. It's totally free. It's the easiest way to support me. So if you enjoy my videos, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and hit that little bell icon to turn your post notifications on so that way you never miss when I upload a new video. So if you wanna see how to go from this to this, then just keep watching. All right, so I have the camera lifted up a little bit so that when I'm actually doing the blowout, you'll be able to see my hair and I won't be out of frame, so. Hi, down here. <laughs> So as you can see, my hair is a crazy frizzy mess. I washed it a little while ago. It's been probably like 30 minutes or so since I got out of the shower. So whenever I'm doing this process, I always like to do it on hair that is at least 70 to 80% dry. You do want a little bit of moisture in your hair to get the best results, but I don't like to do it when my hair's dripping wet because A, it just takes forever, and B, the wetter your hair is, the more heat you have to apply to it, and heat obviously can cause damage. So I try to minimize the amount of heat that I'm using. So I'm brushing through everything to make sure there's no tangles before we start. I'm using my Framar brush. This is like the equivalent of a wet brush, pretty much. It has like really flexible bristles, so it's not gonna create too much tension and cause any breakage. God, do you see this? Okay, so this step is super, super important. I cannot stress it enough to you guys. You have to use a thermal spray before you are going to apply any heat to your hair, especially the process that we're gonna be doing, the tool we're using gets very, very hot and it's going to cause damage to your hair over time if you're not using the proper products to protect it. What I'm using is the Wella Thermal Image. I love this stuff. This is a professional only product, so I'm not sure if you can get it as a non-professional, but I will link some of my favorite heat protectants in the description. The best way to test out if the one you have is actually working and doing anything. You can spray some on the back of your hands and point your blow dryer at it. If you do have a good heat protectant, you should notice that the area around where you sprayed is getting really hot, but the spot you sprayed isn't as hot or maybe even has like a cooling sensation. Just a little pro tip. So I am going to shake this up and I'm gonna spray it all over my hair. So then after I spray that, I'm just gonna Brush it through, make sure it's evenly distributed. And then I'm going to take my first section of hair. Now, depending on how thick your hair is, if your hair's super, super fine, you can get away with taking thicker sections. If your hair is really thick and especially really curly, you're gonna have to do smaller sections. So it's gonna vary for each person, so don't get too focused on like how thick my particular sections are. I just take a horizontal section, clip the rest up, and that is how we're gonna be working, just doing those same exact horizontal sections until we get to the very top of the head. So the tool that I am using for this is the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer Brush. I love this product and highly, highly recommend it. It is so easy to use, and you don't even have to necessarily get the Revlon one specifically. There's a lot of different companies that make a very similar product to this. This is just, happens to be the one that I have. This has a cool, a low, and a high setting. I'm gonna be using everything on the high setting. If you have very thick, coarse, curly hair, you're gonna need to use the high setting. If you have finer, thinner hair, and especially if it naturally dries pretty straight, you probably will be fine with the low setting. If you're unsure, I would start with the low setting because high gets very, very hot, and why use more heat than necessary, right? So what I'm gonna do is take my hair and I'm just going to wrap the brush under it and I'm going to keep rotating it in a downward motion, constantly moving the brush. I'm not gonna stop and hold it still at any point. I'm gonna constantly be rotating it. I'm just gonna do that for a few seconds and then once I feel like that piece is dry, I'm gonna just let it down. I'm 
just like that. And it just makes your hair so smooth and shiny. So I'm gonna continue doing that to the rest of this section, wrapping under the hair, rotating in a downward motion. And you don't have to worry about this first section being too perfect because this is all of like the underneath hair. So you're not gonna really see it, you know? So once that is all dry and feeling smooth, I'm gonna let my hair down and take another section. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. One thing that I wanna point out is you'll notice that I'm holding the brush up pretty high. I'm doing that because I want to avoid my ear, of course, I don't wanna burn myself, but also by over directing that hair and really holding it up at the root, you're gonna create extra volume and extra lift. So as I'm going around, I'm gonna be, you'll see I'm like lifting it up. Rather than like holding it right where it's at and just going down, I'm like pulling it up, still rotating the brush in a downward motion, but I'm like lifting that hair up at an angle as I'm doing it. So now that I just have this little bit of hair left, I'm gonna take a mohawk section. So I'm gonna go from like the arch of my eyebrows straight back. And I'm gonna clip this hair away. This piece right here is gonna be obviously my final section, which I'm gonna do a little bit differently. And then this little bit of hair, I'm gonna do the same way I did everything else. All right, so now that we are on to this final section, I'm going to split this top section into smaller horizontal sections. And I like to work back to front, take the blow dry brush from behind the piece of hair and we're going to over direct the hair forward this way as we're rotating like this. That's gonna create a lot of body and volume because our hair naturally wants to just fall down and like back. So by over directing it up and forward, you're going against the way the hair naturally wants to lay and it's gonna force a lot of lift. Another little tip, because my hair is pretty wavy, right up at the root I have some waves and some frizz. So I like to come in from both angles and I really create a lot of tension there and I pull it nice and tight to really smooth the hair out first and then start creating that volume. Once that's all done, I just flip my head back just part your hair wherever you wanna wear it. I usually do it down the middle. And then you can see how much body that adds. And it creates that like natural swoop in the front. And if you need to, like I have a couple spots right here that could be smoothed out a little bit more. So you can just go through and just fix that. And that's basically it. The brush alone leaves your hair really shiny and silky, but if you feel like you need to add a little bit of product just to smooth down the ends at all, um, you can take a little bit of hair oil. So this is the Redken Diamond Oil. Just take one little pump of that, rub it between my hands, and just work that on the ends. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check the description box for links to all of the products that I used and mentioned. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.